It would seem most fitting the reason for a rapture would be because to escape imminent danger. Probably the best example of why the rapture would happen is a nuclear war. I find it really interesting how there is a plethora of videos, which I will link in my description box below. I'm not going to bother trying to clip them and put them in this video. I think there's about six of them I'll link, and there's probably tons more. I, I know there's tons more. Lots of people have had dreams with these things. But I find these interesting because they were spoken about years ago before any of this nonsense happened. Before 2020, a lot of these dreams, 90s, in the early 2000s. This the theme of Russia attacking the U.S. I think that would be a good reason for a rapture. You know, rapture timing aside, um, or, you know, dates aside, the reason for a rapture, imminent massive threat like this. The word harpazo, taken from the word Strong's G726, caught up, and that means from a deliverance of to seize, to catch away, to pluck, pull, take away by force. A quick evacuation, essentially, of what, what it is. And now we can see the foreshadow of this potentially happening, right? So in Luke 17, it says, uh, let's see where what verse did I want to read here? But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. That's Luke 17, 29. And if we go to that area, maybe read a few verses, maybe read from um, Genesis, or let's see here, Genesis uh, 19, 22 through 24, perhaps. Hurry, escape over there, for I cannot do anything until you arrive there. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zor. The sun had risen upon the earth when Lot entered Zor. And the Lord rained brimstone and fire on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. They were in trouble. God was mad. It's very thought-provoking to think that the rapture could happen just before a bunch of chaos could happen. Now, I'm not a dreamer, and some of these, you got to take all these dreams and prophecies and visions to the Lord. I've never really had anything like that, but I do find them interesting. And I do find it extra interesting that there seems to be a lot of similar patterns with these dreams and visions and experiences that people have had, especially a long time ago. So if you want to skim through it and go through the rabbit hole of that kind of a theme of rapture visions and dreams, check out the description box below. I'll just put about six of them in there. You can rabbit trail and look on other videos, I'm sure, and find some more similarities. Uh, this is not a time to be discouraged, but encouraged because our redemption draws near. When you see these things begin to happen, look up. Oh, let me get that verse. That's Luke 21, isn't it? Let me just get it on my computer here. Luke 21, uh, 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Go, Jesus, go one day closer, seeing clouds. Oh, yeah.